like trying to keep it together. You know, sometimes I wonder like why certain people go through the most difficult roads. Why good people have to struggle more? Why do we have to get our heart broken? Why do kids have to go through so much when they're young? We were gonna be the greatest love story this town had ever seen. I finally stopped myself from crying. I had like my little moment there. But what's up guys? Welcome back to another freaking video. <laughs> you guys are probably like, you went from crying to being happy in like 0.2 seconds. What's going on with you, you bipolar? I'm not bipolar. I just had a little moment. Just a little moment. Today's the first day that we're actually going Christmas shopping. And I wrote the list down and I was check marking everything that I needed to get. And then I got to a point where I'm like, you know what? I am tired of shopping. Um, I'm going to go pick up my sister. We're going to have something to eat. And then we're going to go home. And I'm having my family come over this evening. We're going to have um, dinner at my house. So I'm going to grab something to eat for everybody else. I'm going to cook. And I'm over here like being picky of the certain things that I'm getting for certain people on my Christmas list. And it just, it hit me. It hit me like a freaking semi literally just hit me in the middle of being excited, being happy for Christmas and everybody's getting what they wanted and then it hit me. I got to the stoplight and I'm going, I want to get across the street because Dutch Bros is literally right across the street. I can see it. <laughs> and there was a lady and she had a stroller and on her sign it says, baby daddy kicked us out we're homeless as of now and anything helps and i was like oh my god that little boy is about the same age as nevaeh whenever i see kids involved for sure for sure i have to give something because like what if i was in that situation would people help me when they do help me that was that's like the biggest thing that would happen that day that's like the biggest blessing you could get in I don't know it just every like I said every time I see kids involved like that it hits me so I like re-strategize everything and rethought about everything and it's like you know I literally take everything for granted everything I'm over here I have like a whole house and a car that I'm really picky about I have my daughter and I need to take like I take advantage of just having everything I feel like I need to appreciate everything that I have and it's not like I don't but just I'm over here being picky about little things it's just the shoes that I got today I'm like I don't like this color then you have this little baby over here just doesn't even have any clothes on its back just whatever it's wearing Sorry. <laughs> this just, I don't know, for some reason this year just is hitting me harder. And then having Chen not around to experience the house and he always wanted his boat in his garage. He's always wanted to move back to the city. He's always wanted to see Nevea grow up take her fishing and now she's like into fishing she's into horses she's into dinosaurs and and then the other night when i was experiencing all that um paranormal stuff in my house a lot of you guys said what if that's that's chan yeah you know, i i was thinking about that too that's why like a lot of times when i feel things when i see things in my mind, I'm thinking those are my loved ones. That is my husband right there. That is my mom right there. Those are my uncles right there. That is my niece right there. That is my aunt right there. That's what I'm thinking most of the time. And so that's why like, I don't react to it. I'll sit there and I'll just think. Like, I won't 
talk to it or anything. Literally, I just leave them alone. Maybe they're just coming around to check up on us. But I'll sit there and only you know I'll think about it and I'll pray about it. Like, you know, if that's you and thank you for coming to check up on us and you know, just stuff like that. And I know some of you guys are like, how come you don't express your feelings on YouTube? How come you don't talk about certain things? I don't know, it's just the emotional side, the the sensitivity side is it's it's not there. I can't. That's just like for me. I'm back. <laughs> I had to order my drink. And like again, I'm over here being picky about my drink. I have to have certain things in the drink. And then you got people out there that are not even picky about anything. They wish they could, but they can't. They just kind of get whatever is given to them, if it's even given to them. But it's just me and my daughter today. Um, I'm on a... <laughs> Getting to introduce myself. I'm on it. This is my si my sister. Oh my gosh! This is my daughter, Nevea. And then I'm gonna go pick up my sister C. I bought her a kiss kiss <laughs> at Christmas gift. Hopefully she don't see it when we get back. <laughs> but I seen in Rezzy's last video of what she was thankful for. I thought that was so nice. You know, I don't really remind people. I don't express, like I said, I don't express my feelings. I'm just like emotionally just not there. <laughs> like I'm not an emotional person anymore. As soon as like Chan left, all the emotions, I let it all out for like a couple months. And then after that, it was gone. Like I, I can't just sit there and just cry and cry and cry. Like I literally just don't even bother going down that lane because i know like once i go down that lane it's like the roller coaster just everything is just downhill though my emotions are not all there i'm always angry and i stop eating and i'm just depressed my health goes down so i don't i don't bother looking down that aisle what I'm thankful for. One, I am thankful to have a family that have that always has my back when I need them. Even when I don't need them, they are there for me. Um, big, big, big shout out to Z that's always there for me, especially when I need help with Nevea or C or it's just a phone call away. She's just always there. And Z is Nevea's godmother, for those of you guys that don't know. Um, me and Chan have talked about who's going to be the godparents and we chose Z. Z and Gil, I just love like how they raised China and I want Nevea to be like that. And also Zaya, the silly little boy he is. Oh, that holly jolly tastes so good. Okay, the second person that I'm thankful for is George. During the time that um, I needed someone the most when Chan was in the hospital. George was there. Since then, George has always been there. Regardless of what she's going through, she's always there. So I like to do a big thank, thank you. Shout out to George. I'm very thankful for you. And in return, I'm always going to be here for you too, George. Okay, the third person I'm thankful for is my dad. Um, I would like to say thank you for retiring early to be there with your grandkids. And when you do come down, you do treat Nevaeh like a princess that she is. So I would like to say thank you for always being there for us. And last person I am very thankful for is Chen's mom, which I consider my mom, which is Nevaeh's grandma. I have that family up there in Montana that I'm very thankful for when we go up there. It feels like home, it really does. So that's why every year for Thanksgiving, that is our main goal is to go back home for Thanksgiving. So I'm thankful for bringing us in and continually calling me your daughter and all of us your family. So we're so blessed to add you to our little money, <laughs> our money family. It's crazy, you really don't see this side of me. <laughs> I really don't cry. Um, but the people I do cry to are the main four that I just listed. Other than that, I really don't cry to anybody else. 
so you guys are very special to me and everybody else that I have in my little circle and my little circle is getting smaller and smaller but that is okay that is perfectly okay I would want positive people around me I don't want no negative people near me or my family or anything like that so the smaller the better but like I said everybody else that's in my little bubble I'm thankful for you guys and thank you for keeping us in your prayers for everybody else we appreciate every single one of you talking to you you're still here watching so i'm thankful for you thank you for supporting us and you're still here <laughs> but cheers cheers oh my god i waited all day for this drink i got the holly jolly and this is Sita's favorite. She loves the dino egg. But she's at work now. She's at work right now. So I'm going to go pick her up. We have a pretty interesting evening. That's coming up. So stay tuned guys. I'll vlog everything. <laughs> I've always wanted to talk about this. Uh, when you guys drive. Like do you do the legal. The legal. What do you call it. Um. 9-3 position or do you guys hold the steering wheel on the bottom or are you one of those that just cruises like this like what kind of driving do you guys prefer for me like if I'm just chilling cruising I'll just sit here like this with just with one hand I'll cool and whatnot and then if I'm like if my dad is with me <laughs> I'll hold the steering wheel uh, what is that like eight Five or whatever I'll do that or I'll do the nine three <laughs> how do you guys drive I said I was gonna take you guys with me everywhere I lied um, we ended up picking up C we went back to the house dropped everything off did you pick up your wallet no. that was the whole point of going back to the house so you can pick up your wallet that was literally the whole point of why I detoured back to the house Anyways, we are in line at Panda Express and then we're gonna go to Walmart right there I'm still trying to decide what to make for dinner tonight because there's gonna be handful plus one coming over <sighs> Has to be something easy <laughs> Y'all know I don't cook for sh I don't cook um, But when I have to I have to but you have to be like Seriously starving to death for me to cook for you. So y'all better be starving to death for me to cook tonight See that guy that's just like standing there? He is so creepy. I was trying to record him earlier, but my camera wouldn't work. Literally, it wouldn't record. But he stood right here in front of the car for like a whole three minutes, just staring at the car. Well, I think staring at us, but my eyes was blocking this part. So the only part I seen was his shoulders on down. That was creepy. Like, he literally just stood there. So I was like, what is... Maybe he's waiting for something. So I look, this black truck was just parked behind us. Literally, that black truck just parked there. For like a whole, maybe three, four minutes. Kind of creepy. Y'all gotta, like, watch your surroundings. There's guys like that that just, like, hang around and just... Wait. For people when people get stolen like that. But yeah, he literally just stood there and just did not move. Dead ass just stared at us. He's just slowly just walking back and forth. I don't know what he's doing. Situations like that, like what well, what do you do in that situation? Besides call the cops and then you just gotta wait until they get here. But in the meantime, like we're always careful in everything we do. Like I watch so much TikTok videos where they will mark your car and they will follow you home. Uh, when you get home, they'll walk in right after you. So I always Yay. tell, see, as soon as you get back in, lock the doors. Uh, when we come back, we always open the garage, pull in, make sure the garage goes fully down, and then we get out of the car. So there's like certain things that we do. Um, but I used to let Sita jump out, go in and grab the stuff she needs and come back out. But no, I don't do that anymore. Um, we literally all have to go in and we all come back out at the same time <laughs> She's picking on her auntie, but we're just sitting here um, having lunch barely Hello. 
Don't you guys hate it that you lose where you parked? Try and look for the car. Turn the alarm on again. I hear it somewhere. Getting closer. We literally came out the wrong side. Oh no. Can't go through there. Oh, thank you. Ready? Set. Go. <laughs> <laughs> Poor head. <laughs> <laughs> we got Aria, which is um, George's oldest. Yeah. We got Lena, which is George's youngest. Wow. So we got this um, tablecloth coloring paper. So I'm going to have the kids color. It's too dark. Nevaeh, come here, baby. Mom, we should put a Christmas tree in our room. Yeah. She's really trying to concentrate. <laughs> oh, no. Oh no! Look at this! I'm laughing at this. Mmm, it's good. It's good? Yeah. What about it? Look at this. <laughs> good? It's like a little bit. Look at that. She loves dinosaurs, so her earrings this. are dinosaurs. Hi, babe. Look at the earrings, George. Yeah. My eyes, right? Your tree needs to go. Why do you dress like a burglar? Uh -huh. Why do you dress like a burglar? I grow my hair out. <laughs> That's why you dress like a burglar? Yeah. Can't even say burglar, right? Burglar. 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 <laughs> oh, hungry. Why are you dressed like a whopper? <laughs> Remember Jess? Oh, Smell yeah. like a whole whopper over there. <laughs> she just got off work. Like whole, <laughs> uh, this is the part that gets funky. Booping part now. The what? Looping part? Yeah. We have like a hair tie or like some kind of wire. For what? To tie it down. Uh, yeah. Sounds like it. <laughs> Come here. Aww. Oh, they know the story, right? Yeah. <laughs> George, you have a pen pal? I did have a pen pal. Prison? Is that that guy in prison? No. <laughs> we don't talk about him. No more. <laughs> she used to live in Mesa. And I didn't she? even know where Mesa was. Yeah, it was an old lady. Oh. She used to send me money all the time. <laughs> she was my she sugar mama. Sugar mama. Know. <laughs> she comes out. She goes, I knew that was you. <laughs> Come What's home, sweetie. Called, like, save her the name was Dawn. Save That's the all the I remember. Children. Save the children. Yeah, where really? they sponsor you. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. mm -hmm. They send you money and stuff. Well, right. she. That's where she, she sponsored me. <laughs> <laughs> Let's <laughs> see right there. <laughs> Two, again. One. Oh. <laughs> what you Damn it. <laughs> what did you miss up? Oh, no. <laughs> She's on. <gasps> <laughs> so we just got done filming for the Ma'i channel and we have our special guest, Rizzy! Then we got George, our co-host. But um, if y'all haven't subscribed yet, go subscribe to Rezzy and go subscribe to the Ma'i channel, which is me and George's channel that we run That's together. We literally run. <laughs> oh, <yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I seen George run today. <laughs> I run like a yanny. <laughs> She's all on all fours. 
<laughs> all her, her pants was falling off. All her fur to back <laughs> stood up. <laughs> Ew! Oh, do it again. <laughs> She's all pulling up her. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but uh, right now, I guess we're going to go take a cruise down the street. <laughs> down the street. A cruise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to show them um, our spot. We did a music video, me and the girls. So y'all go One check minute. out that music video. Mama loves you so much, princess. Let him sit Mama back there. Mama loves you so much. George, look at the lights. He's stealing it. No, they're all.